Coffee chat dang nine. Grab yourself a coffee. Enjoy the vibes. Thought that light was on. So I was going to record this after I came back from the gym, but my headphones, which are charging, I accidentally left them on overnight, and I thought like nothing of it when I checked this morning and was like, ah, nah, they're, they're grand. But it turns out they're at 10%, and if my headphones die on me when I'm trying to work out, no, I, I, I'm I'm not dealing with that. I'm I'm just not dealing with that. So yeah, I'm charging them. I had a monster and everything, and now I have to have this to get like the caffeine still running. By the way, we're drinking a cappuccino today instead of the usual latte. Also. Just in case you want to get the same equipment as me, Amberleaf, Nescafe Gold. Get like the little sachets there. Oh, they're lovely. Get that. Put some micro. Put some milk in the microwave, not microwave in the milk. Heat up the milk for two minutes. Pour it in over the sachet that which you have emptied into another cup. Two sugars, you're sorted. You're, you're actually just sorted. It's the Tuesday of Holy Week, so obviously went to church. This morning I had like a little bit more of a hesitance to go to church than usual. Which I, you know, just... It... Like I was hesitant, but obviously I was gonna go to church because... I, like, obviously. Like... <laughs> See, the weird thing is, like, since I started going to church... Normally I would be burnt out by now. Normal, like... I could tell that my mind has been like slowly burning out over the past week. And it's like the we're so back energy is starting to like fade away, like the initial boost in it. And it's been like it's been sort of that little bit harder to like keep going every day and doing everything I need to do. Which, you know, I like I I don't really like that I'm struggling with this of all things because this is like easy but oh, my hair looks really strange wasn't able to get a shower today because I woke up late but I'll be taking a shower after the gym hopefully that should fix me right up so yeah like the fact that I'm starting to burn out right now is sort of like I don't feel that good about it but every time I go to church, it's like, I, I feel revitalized. I feel like re-strengthened. I feel like I feel the energy come back to me and it's awesome. Because that means I can just keep going. And also, I need to get a physical Bible. That is something that I have been telling myself I'm going to do for like a week. I need to get it like soon once I do I'll probably start up another channel and like I'll probably just do like little gospel readings like I'll read like a chapter or like a verse or you know like something like that every day and I'll have that up on another channel which I won't be able to link because YouTube doesn't let me you know link anything Without verification of who I am, just which makes sense. I could be a scammer. Like that YouTube doesn't know that I'm not a scammer. So, you know, I can't link anything. I was gonna link the Discord a few days ago, but YouTube didn't let me. Also, did I say coffee chat day nine or coffee chat day ten? Because I'm pretty sure today is day ten. 
I don't know. I don't even think I said, like, the day. I think I just said, coffee chat. And, yeah, I left it there. So outside of my life, uh, weather has been crazy here. I don't know where, I mean the, the audience like that I have, like the analytics say that most people come from the same country that I do. So uh, us, us Irish people, can we all agree the weather has been crazy? Well actually no, it's been normal. It, it's been normal, honestly. It's just raining a lot over the past few days. But uh, for the few people that are watching from, I believe it's United States and Mexico. Those are like the other audience parts. I mean, I really like my audience analytics because it's just funny. Because it's mainly, well, from what I can see, it's, half and half male and female and then everyone's just like 45 to 55 years old and it's like I, I'm a lot younger than that so <laughs> I'm I'm turning 20 this year so like you know I'm I don't know how yous are receiving my message but I hope like you're finding some value in this And then, you know, like, the uh, country analytics, mainly from Ireland, a uh, few people from the United States, and then I think it's like one person from Mexico. So hello, my Mexican viewer. Hope you're enjoying this channel. Yeah, a random boost of comments uh, overnight. A few people like commenting. And I'm pretty sure most of them are bots. Uh, I mean, considering the fact that I answered one of their questions, like, I believed on yesterday's coffee chat, someone asked me, like, where I'm from and what age I am. And it was, like, probably a bot count. And I just answered that question, like, a few minutes ago so uh, if you aren't a bot there's your answer and we got one new subscriber welcome to the crew welcome to the gang Like I said, enough about my life and then just started speaking about my life again. I mean, there's like, I, it's really hard to like get a conversation sort of going because that's sort of what I want like this, like the, this series to be. I want it to be like a back and forth conversation where it's like, it feels like you're actually just sitting down with a friend and having a coffee. But you know, right now it's like really hard to get like that back and forth. So all I can really do is like talk about the comments on my channel and hope that, you know, those people are watching and they feel like, you know, I'm talking to them. I was watching a video uh, by Fillion, uh, for any of you who know who he is, about Sneeko again, absolutely clobbered by Sean Strickland and at the end of the video he was talking about like how other influencers are talking about how it would be different if they were boxing him and obviously not like the way Sean fights looks scary like I think if I saw the dude in real life I'd be scared but like that makes sense I'm 5'7 and weigh like 135 pounds like I'm I could be destroyed in a fight <laughs> so 
Speaking of fighting, actually, by the time that we start, like, fully locking in, which should be after this week, I really want to get back into training Mai Tai, because I used to train Mai Tai, like, a, not a lot, but, like, you know, every now and again, I'd go to the nearest dojo and, you know, just like, do some sparring with some of the people there. Well, not sparring, it's like pad work, but, you know, I, I haven't done it since December, and I really want to get back into it, because it is fun, it is enjoyable, and I get more like the, when I do like physical training, I'm doing it more for like the mental part of it, so it is like, I feel like I get more of that when I'm actually training like fighting and all as opposed to just lifting weights because I used to get it a lot with lifting weights when I'd be like pushing past my limit like going well past failure and all that but like you know nowadays it's like I find it hard to get like that mental I find it hard to get past that mental block when it comes to like training to failure although I am very proud of yesterday where I pushed well past like I I kept going I I didn't let myself stop until I hit like true failure and I feel really good about that and I'm gonna do that again after this video it's gonna be awesome Rollie's done. I think my headphones are charged now, so I'm just gonna chug the rest of this. Hate to end it early, but like, you know, I, I have somewhere to be right now, so hope you can understand. Uh, normally these go on for 15 minutes or so, so, you know, you're, you're still getting most of like the video. Last few drops. Alright. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.